What is up, you guys? It's y'all favorite to my reader, and I am back with another read. Okay, honey, period. Period. Okay, so today's video is just going to be a um, divine guidance message, um, an energetic update. I don't really know. Um, I'm just going to kind of like let whatever comes out, comes out. I was kind of guided to do this. When I clicked on the camera, it said 822. I have 66 battery percent. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started into this reading. I am taking personal readings. You can cash at me at money sign Caprice Cooks. You can also email me or Apple Pay me at CapriceCooks at iCloud.com. Um, I work on energy, energy is fluid, so this could be about you, this could be about the person that you're thinking about or anybody that's thinking about you. This could also be about the past, the present, or the future, but somehow it's affecting you right now, okay? Okay. So, I sent a master, so family, twin flame, family. Please be here with me at this time, helping me receive the message to deliver to the collective of YouTube. Um, spirit guides, ascended master, soul, family, twin flame, family. Please be here with me at this time, helping me receive a message to deliver to the collective on YouTube. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what messages they got for us today, y'all. I just got the fro out, honey. Now, it's been all laid on and shrunkified, but honey, she is flourishing, Okay. Okay, so we could be running into some challenges with passion. Um, I'm also hearing complacency, um, <clears throat> not wanting to be complacent anymore, not wanting to fit the mold anymore, wanting to break out of some kind of shell. Um, looking deep into something, I'm also hearing spiraling out of control. Somebody's thoughts could be spiraling out of control. Um, <clears throat> And then we have the number two assets. We also I also saw Libra, but I'm not going to take it. But you guys could have a lot of creative ideas at this time. You guys could be very motivated, um, very much so wanting to do your own thing. Um, you could be separating from a lot of people. You could be separating from friends and family. Y'all, my chair is broke, so I'm all just motherfucking bust my ass. So there could be a little position in your life where you feel like... Um, bust my ass it's, it's kind of like you busting your ass and you feel like you're not getting the recognition you deserve or you feel like somebody isn't giving you the attention that you deserve you feel like somebody isn't noticing you that much you feel like as much as you're working hard to get this person's attention maybe they aren't recognizing you maybe they aren't seeing you maybe they don't um see you how you see them or something like that or maybe this is at work maybe because we have the sixth house so your craft your art um, whatever kind of art that you do. Um, I'm also hearing like holistic medicine, natural hair medicine, um, conditioners and shampoos and stuff like that. Um, it has the number six on it, so I feel like this is all about harmony and balance and family. It's kind of like this could be a family business. Um, <clears throat> I'm also seeing like a skunk. Some funky business, some funky business in the family. Um, it's kind of like maybe uh, some of y'all haven't been getting along within the family. Uh, maybe you have been having little rifts with your family, getting into it with people about what it is that you want. Maybe people don't believe in you and your family. 33, thank you, Senate Masters. Maybe people don't see that your goals are valid and that they are... Um, they are manifestable like for you like maybe they feel like for you um this is impossible maybe people doubted you and your family or saw you as the one who wasn't gonna be successful but i feel like the more and more these people don't believe in you the more and more this is pushing you away okay we also have neptune with dreams here so your dreams could be very vivid at this time your dreams could be revealing things to you um flowers could be connected to you you could have flower medicine um i was just thinking about getting a flower tattoo like a flower sleeve but i do feel like um stop to smell the roses it's kind of like even if something bad is happening in your life be sure to kind of like ask god will what is this preparing me for what blessing is going to come out of this hard time like what hurdle am i getting over like what award is coming next once i get over this hurdle it's kind of like think about the long term and not just the short term 
We also have the Taurus card here. Now, I feel like this is because we are in a full moon in Taurus. And you have this dream card here. Um, so, I feel like we're giving birth to our dreams. I feel like we're no longer being stubborn about leaving a certain situation that was not blooming, that was not blossoming. I'm also hearing Georgia Peach. Somebody could be wanting to move to Georgia. Somebody could have met somebody in Georgia, met somebody on vacation. Um, I'm also seeing like rose colored lenses like maybe it's kind of like you see the good in this person But maybe you're starting to see this person true colors. Maybe you're starting to see them for who they truly are I'm also hearing the number four family home stability um, And I'm hearing like earth signs. So that is Taurus Virgo or Capricorn I'm also hearing a very leafy energy. Um, somebody could be could, could be connected to trees um, somebody could be talking to trees. Somebody could be hearing the trees whisper to them, seeing trees move, seeing faces in trees. <clears throat> 33, thank you, Ascended Masters. Maybe start paying attention to trees. Um, I'm also hearing like vultures, seagulls, bird, birds in general. Volcanoes and eruptions, transformation. Okay, so when a volcano erupts and then it like cools down i don't know i don't know where that's going but okay so bipolar disorder okay or you could be dealing with the gemini it's kind of like hot and cold hot and cold like one minute you up here the next minute you down here and it's kind of like maybe someone doesn't know how to deal with you or maybe you aren't knowing how to deal with yourself uh, maybe you could be realizing you have a mental illness maybe you could be learning how to cope with it maybe the person around you is learning how to cope with you maybe your bosses and stuff like that maybe you're telling them um uh, something could be exploding at work there could be some truth coming out at work um number six <clears throat> This in a master's or this could be at home and this could be with your family um or i feel like the reason why it could be at work is because we have the number six here which is all about your craft so this could be um surrounding your business maybe something could be um coming out about your business about your practices or something like that um somebody who was stealing from you in your business i feel like you feel empowered by this information by this news if you found out somebody was cheating if you found out your boss is a don't like you or if you found out your boss was going to fire you or you found out you got to quit your job or you got to leave your home or you're getting evicted or something like that whatever this news is i feel like it's empowering you it's making you feel like a capricorn here with the boss card here um and i said towards Virgo or capricorn but i feel like you're in this energy of ramming your head into a wall but not in a bad way it's kind of like you don't care how many times you have to to go through something like it you know what you want and you want to go get it so it's kind of like as many times as you got to bump your head you also realize that in bumping your head you're learning lessons you're learning about what you want and don't want um you're, you're ending cycles it's kind of like the more and more you bump your head the more knowledge that's being bumped into there i, I don't know why but i kind of feel like somebody is leading you or teaching you it's kind of like um I'm I'm trying to I'm seeing seven eight um thank you Cinema Masters I'm seeing somebody like pulling you by the horns thirty nine thank you Cinema Masters somebody's like pulling you by the horns kind of like come bring your but oh you know when you got a kid okay so you could be dealing with your kid eight oh four thank you Cinema Masters the way that you parent your kids I feel like you are maturing as a mother as a mom people are looking up to you as a mom um I feel like your child is looking up to you as a boss your child is looking up to you as somebody who's like dang I really want to be like my mommy um I feel like they're having projects in school where they're doing things things for you for the holidays and stuff like that they're trying to come up with a gift to impress you or something to make you feel appreciated and loved because i feel like they have watched you become revolutionary they have watched you evolve and change as a woman as a mom as a parent um or as a father whoever you are watching and i feel like they can see that you are lacking that passion that you know that love and that stability kids notice everything and even if you it is a young child and they don't, you know, know about love and intimacy and all that kind of stuff. I do feel like they can sense that maybe their parent is lonely or um, burdened or struggling or kind of like doing everything on their own. And it's kind of like, yeah, the, with the number two, the assets here, it's kind of like they know that their mom is doing everything. They know that their mom is struggling and financially and needing help and kind of like this and trying to manifest better for them i kind of feel like this is why your kid has been um a little bit easy on you um and then you have the six of cups which is all about children home family balance um cancer scorpio pisces energy as well um also with the cat here i feel like your child could be wanting a cat or be wanting a pet um 
this little boy also has a frog in his hand and he's standing next to some orange flowers so i feel like somebody could really light up your world and make you very very happy um however i do feel like the passion that you have for this person maybe scares you because it, they're so original they're not a carbon copy they're not something that you're used to and i think for you that scares you a little bit um, I, I'm hearing a little bit of a, is this too good to be true? With the Eight of Cups, it's kind of like you're finally ready to walk away from anything that doesn't make you happy. Anything that doesn't suit your your Ten of Pentacles, your Ten, ten of Cups, your happiness, your ultimate abundance. I feel like you're changing your behavior in order to make the people around you change their behavior. You're no longer putting up with certain things from your boss, from your family from your friends it's kind of like you are standing up for yourself making people have no choice but to respect you and but to treat you exactly how you want to be treated okay wise dreams here so we have the page of wands this is usually good news so with the page and the fool here somebody could be getting pregnant having a baby um this is you could be dreaming about your baby you're you could have met your baby in the dream world maybe this child is ready to come out um I feel like this baby is signing their soul contracts because it fell on top of the Taurus card, which is um, fertile, fertile energy. So with the full card here, I feel like somebody is ready to take a risk and tell you the good news. Like, hey, baby, I want to be with you. Um, hey, you got a new promotion. Hey, here's a new job. Here's let me invest in your business here. I want to discover you. I feel like with this nine of pentacles. This is a very single energy, a single mother. Hi. Someone who's doing everything on their own. But you also have the high priestess here. No, this is not even the high priestess. Yes, it is. Okay, so I was going to say the world. But you have the high priestess here. So I feel like with you being single, it's kind of like you've been knowing that God has been saving somebody for you. You've been knowing that this job is yours, this abundance is yours, this book is yours. Like everything that you've been manifesting, God has already told you, be free, my child. Be free. Like 1133, thank you, Cinema Masters. Be free. Live your life. Enjoy your life even when you fuck up even when you have bad days be like a butterfly use the energy of alchemy and transform your life transform who you are i said the butterfly right here on this card and then we have all these butterflies and transformation right here with the pluto card here somebody could have capricorn in their pluto and then we have judgment with the king of wands the aries leo sagittarius this person could have this in their chart but i feel like this person is very passionate about you they see you working hard they see you on your grind they see you doing your job and it's kind of like they want to remind you that you deserve to be treated like a woman that you deserve this promotion that you deserve to be honored at work that you deserve to be invested in that you deserve to be discovered whatever it is whoever this person is who is offering you this good news about whatever this opportunity is for you I feel like you're a little bit skeptical, skeptical, you're a little skeptical on taking it because you maybe think that this person is a little bit too fiery, they either have an attitude problem, too passionate about you, too obsessed with you, thinking about you too much, um, or it's kind of like maybe this person feels like they're floating on thin air with you, it's kind of like maybe they've already gotten on your bad side and they want to get on your good side, however, I feel like they think you're going to call a judgment, they think you're going to 